Welcome to Medora Corporation's educational whiteboard series, Everything Wastewater, produced for engineers, system owners, management, and personnel to answer commonly asked questions about wastewater applications and Medora Corporation equipment. How can Medora's floating wastewater mixing equipment be used to meet phosphorus limits in a wastewater lagoon? In the next three minutes or so, we'll explain the basic process and equipment needed to achieve the best, most economical, and easiest phosphorus removal in the industry. Where to start? Let's dig into some quick phosphorus fundamentals. Phosphorus is an abundant, naturally occurring element essential to all life on Earth. Excessive phosphorus in waterways and water bodies can cause environmental complications such as dense plant, algae, and cyanobacteria growth known as eutrophication. By removing phosphorus during the wastewater treatment process, there are less potential downstream negative impacts. Less phosphorus release, less negative environmental impact. And as time moves on, Phosphorus discharge limits for lagoons will only become more strict, increasing the urgency for a reliable and effective phosphorus removal strategy. So let's get our removal on. Phosphorus can be removed from a lagoon by applying a precipitating agent like aluminum sulfate or ferric chloride. Once precipitated, the phosphorus harmlessly falls out of the water column and into the sludge sediments. Precipitant dispersal is a very hands-on and costly process requiring extensive labor, time, infrastructure, and accessory resources. In short, it can be spendy, spendy, spendy. This is where Medora's floating wastewater mixing equipment can make phosphorus removal a whole lot easier and more cost effective. And it all starts with a floating wastewater mixer. The mixer is anchored using a single shore to shore tether cable which is able to span most lagoon dimensions. Once tethered, an injection hose is run from shore to the machine fastened along the tether cable, terminating just below the machine impeller. And just like that, Medora's floating wastewater mixer is now ready to receive and distribute the phosphorus precipitant of your choice. Consult with your chemical supplier for proper sizing of metering pumps, chemical storage, and dosing rates for your lagoon. Then, all is left is the final connection to the mixer injection hose and you're ready to rock. The phosphorus precipitating agent is sent from the onshore metering system down the injection hose to the machine just below the impeller. Here, the precipitating agent is fully mixed into the entire direct flow of the floating wastewater mixer. And this is where great mixing takes center stage. The well-mixed precipitant is then distributed radially across the lagoon utilizing proven long-distance circulation technology. It creates an ideal interaction environment between your precipitating agent and the target phosphorus. In many cases, when compared to traditional application methods, only half as much precipitant is needed to achieve better phosphorus removal, or simply put, the better the mixing, the better the phosphorus precipitation. And Medora wastewater mixing is the best there is. Even better yet, Medora Corporation has effective mixing options no matter your lagoon size. 1 acre, 15 acres, more, less, in between, doesn't matter. Medora Corporation has you covered. Medora Floating Wastewater Lagoon Mixers. Make your phosphorus removal strategy a more successful phosphorus removal strategy. For more information how Medora Corporation's wastewater mixing equipment can help make your wastewater better, please contact us at 866-437-8076 or through our website www.medoraco.com. Thanks for watching.